thank y'all for clicking on another one of my videos. I appreciate all the support that I've been getting for this. It's definitely something new, but it's something I'm real excited about doing. So today is probably going to be, or this video is probably my absolute favorite that I've done so far because I'm doing my Amazon favorites. I have a slight Amazon addiction. So I try to narrow it down the, as much as I could. And this is mainly stuff for me, not necessarily for the kids or for the house, things like that. Now, if you'd like to see a kid's edition, like things I do to help organize their closets, playroom, daily entertainment stuff, things like that, let me know. I can also do one, I can pretty much do one in any category you want to see. Just let me know what you like to see. I've got a whole list of stuff I could do. So to start with, I'm going to start with a few clothing items, but the first clothing item, first four, five clothing items are actually these yoga pants. Now, right now I have the gray, black, and navy blue. These are the most amazing yoga leggings that I have ever tried on, bought, like these are the best purchase I've ever made. I'm obsessed with these. Like. I have two pair of navy blue. Do I have two pair of gray? I might have two pair of gray now that I think about it. I do. I have a black pair and a wine color, which is a burgundy pair. And I plan on getting more. I love them that much. They are squat proof, which means you can squat down, bend over, and you're not going to see anything. They have pockets on each side. And like this is big enough to put my cell phone. During basketball practice, I put my cell phone in there. I put my keys in the other side. I love these so much. Now, for these, I got size extra large and they weren't too tight, they're not too loose. I think they were perfect and nothing was showing badly, no cellulite or anything else was jiggling too much. These are my favorite, 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 favorite purchase and favorite pair of workout attire that I have. I love them. So I'll link them below because I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce this brand. All I know is I recommend these to everyone. I love them that much. So kind of to go along with that, and right now I only have two of these. I don't know where my maroon or plain gray, I have a black one too. Anyways, they're these tank tops. And they look just like this. And I love them. They're long, they're flowy. I feel like it covers everything it needs to cover, but yet, it's not too hot. I don't like a t-shirt whenever I'm working out, but I'm not comfor comfortable enough to be in a really tight, form-fitting tank top either. So I love these. Plus, these are long enough to cover up your booty if you're wearing the leggings, if that's something you're concerned about. I love these so much, and they were really cheap. I got a three-pack of these. I think it was navy, maroon, and black. And then I have this grayish, I don't know, burnout, I think is the color, or the style that you would call it. I just really like it. And I mix it up with diff my different colored leggings and throw on a hoodie or a jacket with it. I love them. Like those, I have a feeling I'm be wearing these a lot whenever I'm at home. I already wear the leggings a lot. <laughs> then the last clothing items are these maxi dresses. Now I'm like really skeptical about buying a lot of clothing stuff from Amazon and I don't like returning anything to Amazon either. It's just a little bit of a hassle for me. But I found these maxi dresses and I was so scared that they were going to be too short because every maxi dress I've bought has been too short on me. I've even bought a $40 one. I've bought some cheaper ones. Just It hasn't been good. Now my absolute favorite maxi dress is this. I think it was considered navy also and it's got the horizontal stripes up front or up at the top but then it's got the vertical stripes at the bottom and this is so long and all I do like even I step on it there's times I roll over it in my roller chair um I just put a knot at the bottom of it and it looks really cute a lot of the people around here that's what they do with their dresses skirts even their shirts so I tried it with that and I got lots of compliments and I like this. It's not see-through so you don't have to worry about anything showing. The vertical stripes from the lower part, from like your chest down, waist down, is very flattering because there's no way I'm going to wear horizontal stripes 
from head to toe. Not on my build. Uh, next up, I have two just regular maxi dresses. Now this one's navy blue. It's short sleeve. Oh, all of these have pockets. I'm a big fan of pockets and dresses. Um, this one's navy blue. It's it's long enough. I wish it was a little bit longer. And I'm 5'8 and a half. I wish it was a tad bit longer, but I really like it. I usually put on a denim jacket or one of my cardigans with it. I also have a racer back maroon version. Again, it's kind of wrinkled because it's on a, it was from a pile of laundry. It's clean laundry. It was still a pile of laundry over here. Um, again, I just usually throw on my denim jacket or one of my cardigans. But my denim jacket and either a pair of sandals or the white, I have a pair of knockoff Converse that I got from Reese's that I got on sale. And I think it's so cute and I get lots of compliments every time I wear these. So that's it for my clothing. So next, I'm gonna talk about a few things that I learned about. One of my friends has a Facebook page, Shopping Smart and Stylish, and that's on Facebook. And she finds really great like lightning deals so you don't even have to do it she does it for you you just click on the link and you save a lot of money but you may also spend a lot of money which is what happened with this basket in here this is a backpack I've never been a backpack person other than in school obviously but I'm a librarian, and so I'm bringing home a bunch of stuff. I'm bringing home books. I'm taking books. I have my planner. I have medicine. Um, just keys. I've got keys. So many keys. I, I don't even know why I have so many keys. Uh, just everything like that. And this has made it so much simpler. Instead of carrying my purse plus another bag, I have just this backpack. And that's it. And it's great because right now I can open up the front part. I can easily get to my keys to the library. Um, you can also put your phone in there, but I'm using my phone to record. The inside is huge. I don't know if you can really see this. Well, my planner is taking up a lot of room. But anyways, just take my word for it. It's huge. Huge. And you've got another zipper pocket on the back two side pockets if you want to put water or your phone or keys or something right there. It also has where you have earbud. If yours are actually wired up, you can put them through there into your phone. I just, I love this bag and it came in a bunch of different colors. Even regular price, it wasn't very much at all. But on sale, I think it was like 20 bucks, maybe even less than 20 bucks. Anyways, I'm going to link everything below obviously, but this, I love this. And it's great. And I just dust it off if it gets dusty or dirty. It's been great. It's been a favorite. And then the next thing I got from the same site are these hoops. And I got a three pack of these. So I have the silver, which I have on right now. I also have gold and rose gold. I feel like I can just throw these on. My hair's in a messy bun, a bun. But it's just down. Or when I've worn my cap and have my hair in the side braid. It just helped make it look, make me look a little less homeless, I think. I hope so. I don't know. Um, these were just so cute with it, I thought. And then also, I got a pack of, I think it's a 12 or 8. I think it's an 8 pack of these little leather earrings. And these are the, like, rose gold color. I've got... I don't even know what color this would technically be. It's just really cute. I have a garnet, white, copper. I love this copper pair. And a pair of regular gold looking or tan. I'm not the biggest fan of this color, but considering how much these are for just one pair from certain boutiques and other online sites, this was a steal. So, like I said, I'm going to have everything listed below. Oh, there's also a black pair, but they're in my other purse. I have them just ready to go. And then my last jewelry, that's just kind of threw all those together. My last jewelry item is actually this ring, which I got in 2013. And I still have it on Amazon. It was less than 20 bucks. I love it. I think it's great. It's just 
a statement piece I feel like it's not exactly blingy or too gaudy but I don't know it just kind of helps an outfit out a little bit I think I just I really like it I've had it for this long it's never turned my fingers green um, and I wash my hands constantly and I've never had an issue so this was a great great buy next is a journal so I started journaling technically in January and I thought I know I didn't have to have like a fancy journal or even like I could have got just a black one and honestly I had just a plain black journal in my cart but then I saw the llamas who doesn't want to look at llamas every time they go to journal this is just it's so cute let me skip ahead just a a little bit it's I guess it's wide rolled it looks like I don't know it's just it's just a really cute journal and it's so soft but yeah it means textured you can feel it the llamas are raised up a little bit this was super cheap also I just felt like it'd be more fun I was starting to journal trying to help with like my anxiety and things like that and also my memory's not that great so I figured this is perfect just to write down a couple sentences each night or whenever I get a chance about what we've done today how I'm feeling things like that I feel like this just makes you want to do it a little bit more because it's so cute. Now let's see what else do I have. Oh, now I have a few, I have three beauty. Mm, technically a little bit more than that. But to start with, this is something you've already heard me talk about before. And it's my beauty sponge. And it's dirty because I just did a video. But these are the most amazing beauty sponges I feel like. And I've heard a few people talk about, oh, there's dog hair on there. <laughs> Thanks, Dexter and Emo. Um, I feel like these don't get talked about that much. I've seen a few Uber, YouTubers talk about it after I'd already had it. I love it. It increases so much once it gets wet. And it's just so soft. I don't know. I just, I want to get a bigger pack. Also, my daughter pulled it apart because she got bored one day. But... It's still going. I'm still able to use it, so I'm going to keep using it till I can't use it anymore. It was like five bucks, six bucks. Definitely worth it, and I feel like it's very comparable to the uh, actual beauty blender that's $20. I've tried the Eco Tools version. What was the other? Oh, the Real Technique, Real Technique sponge. That was the one I used more until I got this. Once I got this, that was it. I was done with all the other ones. This is the only one I even have in my house. And I plan on ordering the kit that has the medium size and the mini ones. Um, plan on ordering that when I get done with this video, actually. Now, something just a little fun. I'm really all about germs and stuff like that. I just want to keep everything clean. And I don't even like things just sitting on the table. So, I found this. Now, it looks like it should be for like a hard boiled egg or something but it's actually for your sponge and I like it because it whenever I'm not using it it's just sitting there it's very pretty on my vanity but also like when it's wet it's not getting anything else on it it's really ironic considering I said there was dog hair on there so I need to look into that but anyways um I don't know I just feel like I just like it also I always know where it is it's not going to roll off the table and onto the floor I just feel like this was great do you have to have it no Definitely not. I just feel like it just makes it a little bit more fun. You know where it is constantly. I've had this for two, three years, I think, actually. It's the same one, and it looks brand new. I just, I don't know, I just love it. It's beautiful, and it's cute. Now, the next two products are part of my, like, skincare routine. And both of these are fairly new. Well, at least new to me. I think I've been using them since January. Not January. November. I'm pretty sure since November. And the main one that I want to talk about is this rose hip oil. I've been using, like I said, I've been using it since November. I have extremely dry skin. I was using Argon oil, which definitely helped with the dryness. Um, and it was great underneath my makeup. My beautiful my makeup laid beautifully over it. But I needed something to try to help with scarring and redness. This has been the game changer right here. I put it on at night and then I also put it on in the morning. I just have to make sure I have enough time to let it set in because it is yellow, orange, 
but it doesn't stay that way. It once it blends into your skin and everything, it's fine. It goes away. Um, but this, I love it. I put it if I have something on my like scarring on my legs or something like that or on my arms or my hands. This is what I've been using, and I put it all over my face. I put it down my neck. It's amazing. Anything left over, I just rub it into my hands. I cannot say enough good things about this. Like. This has been something I'm recommending to anyone if they're talking about their scarring, redness, this. This is it. So, and this is actually the Skin Care brand. And it's USDA, organic. Um, make sure it's pure, cold prep, everything like that. You just want to make sure you have the real deal. And it was so, so cheap. And I mean, I'm only to here now. So it's lasting. It's, it's working really well considering how much I use this and everything I use it on. It's been a great investment and I'll for sure be repurchasing that. And then sort of to go along with that is I needed an actual moisturizer. Sometimes I don't want to use the oil or I don't have enough time. So I decided to try this Liliana Naturals Face Cream. I also have the retinol and the eye cream version. Now I've only been using these well, I've used this since November. The others I've only had, I think, since January. And so I'm still not exactly sure. The retinol was too strong for me to use every day. So I've been using this every day when I'm not using the retinol. And I really like it. It um, soaks into my skin pretty quickly. But yeah, I still feel hydrated. It's not getting wiped off on my clothes or my pillow or anything like that. Um, I love this. And I could put it all the way up underneath my eye and there's no issues at all so even if I don't have time to do my full regimen I still every single night and day use these two I put this on first wait like five minutes and then go over it with this and I feel like these two has just changed changed my skin so much I love them so I think that's it 